Hi, I'm Dr. Ruchika Sahay Shukla. I'm the director of India IVF Clinic and our main branch is in Fortis Hospital, Vasant Konj. So like coming to like my specialization, I specialize in IVF that is in vitro fertilization. So in in vitro fertilization, we do all kinds of cycles. All kinds of cycles means preferably we want to go with the self eggs, means own eggs, own patients gametes, means own egg and own sperm of the couple. But what happens in many patients when the IVF cycle doesn't succeed or in patients who are suffering with premature ovarian failure or poor egg responders or in elderly females, very elderly females, more than 45 years of age, in fact more than 40 only, in those patients we have to opt for donor egg cycles. Do the moment the patient is told the word donor egg cycle, the patient gets very like disturbed and perturbed that they are going for an IVF cycle and still they are not going to use their own gametes. But we can't just change the destiny. In fact, we have, we have to fight with the destiny and for that, what all we can do to like optimize your donor egg programs. For that, we try to hunt a donor who resembles you both partners. We try to match your blood group, your, the color of the hair, skin, eye color. The profile of the donor is matched with the profile of the couple. And then the facial features also we try to match. And the donor has to be between 21 to 28 years of age. It has to be a young donor so that you get good eggs. And the donor ought to have a child before she is donating. This is the rule that is made by the ICMR guidelines, the Indian government, and we are very truly following it. Now coming to the legalities. We have to follow all the legalities and the donor has to sign off the paternal rights on the egg that she is donating with the husband. Thirdly, all the psychological counseling also is done of the donor so that the psychologically also the donor is stable. We see all her habits like what is her reproductive history, what is her sexual history, what is her medical history and the donor has to be fit in all these ways before we take her up for the cycle. So these are some of the things that we do for the patient. Thirdly, the success rate. Whenever you are opting for a donor egg cycle, the success rate as it is increases as compared to the self egg cycle. The success rate in a donor egg cycle goes up as high as a 70 to 80 percent. So like donor egg cycle is used for patients who have had recurrent IV failures and that they really now they want to just have a baby. So these are some of the things that we do for the donor egg cycle. And Secondly, what happens when you opt for a donor egg cycle? We try to like we give you pills, oral contraceptive pills so that your periods and the donor cycles come on the same day. Same day means one or two days up and down is okay with us. Then we give injection to the donors daily to stimulate her eggs. She gets the anesthesia, the egg is picked from her and then we take your spouse's sperm on the day of the ovum pickup. We make the embryos and we put it back in you. So by the help of the donor, you are able to conceive and you are able to deliver a normal child. And ultimately, whatever you will teach the child, the child will learn that only. So definitely the DNA is not yours. But since you have delivered the child, the child is yours and all the legalities are on your side. And with this, you are able to enjoy the motherhood that you have been pining for maybe say years, couples who have been doing it. Okay, and so in all these patients, we are going for donor egg cycles and especially in advanced maternal age, we do have to go for it. Second option is also when we can freeze the donor eggs. There are many ART banks also and uh, from abroad also like they freeze the donor eggs and then they can give the donor eggs to you. But in India right now, there are not so, no such ART banks. In fact, in the ART clinics also, when we have extra donor eggs, we can freeze those donor eggs and the patient can use it for their subsequent use. If that time they are not being able to decide means if somehow in a couple like you see an example is there when the sperm is also very bad and they are not able to decide that they want to make a donor embryo in that case what we can do that half donor eggs that we have retrieved from the donor we can put the sperm and we can make the embryos out of your spouse and the second half we can freeze the egg because the technology is very good for egg freezing and then we can use it maybe later on if you don't have a pregnancy and by putting donor sperms we make donor embryos and we put it in you so the donor eggs can be used Used to your best of advantages by these kind of techniques we can we also have extra embryos whenever we go with donor eggs so if you have one child when in at the first embryo transfer and then you have want to have a, another child so that embryos are kept in the lab and that can be used after three years so three years four years whenever you want to plan the pregnancy so in that case then you have embryos made from the same donor you have got the children from the same donor because of the freezing techniques thank you